To desire to revenge, and then to carry out revenge, means to be the victim of a vehement attack of fever, which then, however, passes. But to desire to revenge without possessing the strength and courage to carry out revenge, means to carry about a chronic illness, a poisoning of body and soul. Morality, which looks only at intentions, assesses both cases equally. In the ordinary way, the former case is assessed as being the worse, on account of the evil consequences which the act of revenge will perhaps produce. Both evaluations are short-sighted. 